weighing nearly 500 pounds, this piece is made up of layer upon layer of oil paint clinging precariously to a canvas surface. As in most of her work, DeFeo has used only black, white, and a full range of grays to convey a sense of volcanic upheaval. Rather than appearing to be the product of a human hand, incision looks as if it were a slice of an ancient, primeval landscape, incised from the earth and elevated onto the wall. Notice the few strings embedded in the scraped and parched surface, hanging down like dead strands of grass, roots, sinew, s or veins. The overwhelming physicality and rawness of DeFeo's paint dominates this work, but the inky darkness of the upper right section hovers over the entire painting and lends it an atmosphere of brooding intensity. The tradition of abstract, action painting that traveled from New York to San Francisco was important to DeFeo's work. Sometimes, the occasional grace of paper cuts might happen when you least expect it. But what is the proper way to treat them? Let's find out. Step 1. Stop the bleeding. Use some gauze and apply direct pressure to the wound. Step 2. Wash it. Wash the wound under running water. Step 3. Clean it. Use an antiseptic cleaning solution to clean the wound. Step 4. Dress it up. Use a cotton bud and apply a thin layer of antiseptic cream over the wound followed by covering it with either a plaster or some gauze and tape. Clean and dress the wound every day to make sure that it stays clean and uninfected. Jane DeFeo, born March 31, 1929 died November 11, 1989, American painter, sculptor, and jewelry maker associated with surrealism and abstract expressionism. She is best known for her masterpiece titled The Rose, a work that took her eight years to complete. <laughs>